When we get married and enter the institution of marriage, we often believe it's a one way till death do us part. And while that is a really noble idea, it has inherent in it a lot of landmines and that we have to live with this person for a long time. It doesn't take into account that people change, that people transform. And that is a really noble, sacred thing we must never give up. This idea of marriage as only successful if it is a long last lasting eternal one till death do us part can be really a treacherous definition for many, many people who feel stifled then because who I was at 25 doesn't necessarily mean who I will remain at 45. And we have the sovereign right to transform and change. The love can transform into another embodiment. But in our cultural milieu and ethos, if it doesn't stay that kind of marriage to that kind of person, then it is a failure and we are really raising our children with a wrong idea because when the marriage quote unquote fails the whole system suffers with that idea of shame of blame of guilt of feeling ostracized we need to redefine this idea of marriage as not based on just simply merely longevity where everyone is so unhappy many of the cases but instead is a definition of marriage as growth marriage as connection marriage as transformation marriage as freedom